A couple of rules changes before the 1978 season helped boost scoring in the National Football League. Offensive linemen were given greater freedom in pass blocking, and bumping and pushing by defensive backs were restricted. The defensive back has acquired new value, and that meant sweeping changes for one team. Each week, defensive backs spend 60 grueling minutes dueling Mercury quick wide receivers. <laughs> Defensive backs are so vital that Seattle spent their first pick on number 45, Ken Easley from UCLA. Easley and Atlanta's Bobby Butler, number 23, are among 12 defensive backs picked in the first round in the past two years. One team in dire need of secondary help was San Francisco, a club that surrendered 29 touchdown passes last year. Boldly, 49er management drafted four defensive backs. Three of them are starters. At left corner from USC, six feet, 205 pound rookie Ronnie Lott. At right corner from Missouri, at six feet one, 180, rookie Eric Wright. At strong safety from Pittsburgh, six feet, 200 pound rookie Carlton Williamson. We felt that if we're going to build a secondary, we might as well put them all together at the same time, start from scratch and bring all these guys along at the same time. When we looked in the draft, we were looking for men in that 190-plus bracket and over six feet tall, and that's basically what we got. At one point, teams were going with smaller corners, but nowadays you like a bigger man. Uh, there's no question that size going for a football makes a big difference. It's also the question of going 16 games and being able to stand up to the contact. We had to find defensive backs who were more pure athletes, kids who could run and jump and leap, and kids who had great speed and great... Great recovery ability. I mean, just pure athletes so that they could cover somebody in the open field. Go up in the air, Ron. Pull it down hard. These young athletes have to compete with the Rashads, the Swans, and the Pearsons. They must be agile, quick, smart, and daring if they are to have a chance. You're going against some of the greatest receivers, you know, across the country, and uh, each week you got your work cut out for you. They get frustrated sometimes, and you just have to tell them that, you know, if you're going to play defensive back in the NFL, you're going to get beat sometimes. In their debut against Detroit, the rookies played well, but not well enough to win. I think we're growing as a, a unit back there, and uh, I think that our secondary and our defense will be uh, reckoned with throughout the league in a few years. I just hope that I'm around three or four years from now when these guys mature, because I think they're really going to be something. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. They just... <laughs> I, <laughs> Herb, I can't believe what I was just watching. i got to update the score for everybody. Go ahead. Go ahead.